Okay, just a quick tutorial here on the spin function and how to merge a line of vertices after you do a spin function or or any other function where your vertices are on top of each other. So let's get some vertices up here first. I'm going to add a uh, circle. I'm going to rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees. I'm going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to select uh, unselect all the vertices. I'm going to hit C for circle select. I'm going to select three quarters of the circle so I can delete it. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that mode. Hit X to delete the vertices. Hover your mouse over the your cursor over the uh, vertices that are left. Hit L. And now come over here and hit spin. Now to set the parameters for spin, you've got to come over here. You want it to spin on the Z axis around your uh, cursor if, if if you're looking at it the way you're looking at it, the way I'm looking at it. You put 1 in Z and 0 in Y for that. And then you can also change the uh, steps. And there you go. It spun around the cursor, around the Z axis, and uh, the number of steps in the degrees was 360 degrees. So you basically built half a cap. But now, when it spun it around 360 degrees, it left this vertice, vertex on top of the other vertex. So, um, you can see it's not sealed. You've actually got two vertices there. Now, the way to merge them all at once is to uh, select them all, come over here, hit remove doubles, and up here it tells you it removed 41 vertices. So now you can now uh, see that they're merged. And that's it. Quick tutorial for today.